Hi, welcome to another KTV5 video tutorial. I want to show you how to use enhanced scenes in the drafting similar to the video which I did before in uh, NX. So there are two kinds of enhanced scenes. I will use the fully overloaded. So there you go, enhanced scene. I get a full overloaded and you got this one. You can leave this scene. Okay. And I want to show the two positions in my drawing. So therefore I could manipulate and stop on collision to go to the two positions. So let me see, there you go. That's stop on collision and then I want to move I want to rotate around the axis with respect to constraints and the axis should be this one that's the first position okay go to your scene that's the scene and now apply the assembly to the scene there are two switches that's apply scene on assembly and that's apply assembly on scene and I want to have all position position and ok and you got this one you could rename this and call this open okay leave the scene make a new one call this closed make it fully overloaded okay leave the scene now go to the other position let's move rotate around the axis again that's the axis right here and this should be like this okay go back to your closed scene and again apply assembly on scene in regards to position okay Leave the scene. Now let's start a drawing. Go to File, New, make a drawing, OK, make a portrait and make it, for example, A4, OK. Go to the views, make an advanced front view, and I will make a one to two. Okay. Go to the assembly. And like this. So I got my first view. I need a second view. That's the closed one. So we go for another one. Okay. Switch the window. Select the scene and then the plane and you get the alternate position. Confirm. Now you want to overlap this too, and you can do this by view positioning, superpose like this. So you got these two views on top on one another. Maybe I delete these 
and I will just show something else in the drawing. So next I want to make this part and this part in a different style. So let's go to this view, right mouse click, go to from the object and overload properties. Use or select this part and select that one and then you can change for example the color. Edit, make it for example red, OK, apply and on this one the same. OK, apply. You could change the line type as well, the thickness or the line type. Confirm it and now I got two positions of one assembly in one view in an overlay and I could easily make out the different positions. So hope this video was helpful and you enjoyed it. See you to the next one. Bye bye. Thank you.